Hello, hello. Okay, okay. Hello. I can see Ruth. Hi, class. Time to start with the class, okay? Here we go. Hello, now I can see Gabriela. Hi, Gabriela and Ruth. Now I can see Glenda. Glenda, welcome. Welcome to your class, Glenda. Let's wait for your classmates. Now I can see Lupita. Very good. I'm still missing some students. ¿Qué tal clase? ¿Cómo va su día? ¿Cómo ha estado este día? ¿Qué día tenemos ahora? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. What day is it today? ¿Qué día es ahora? Who can tell me? Let's practice our English. Today is? Who can tell me the date? Date. Today is Wednesday. Usemos lo que hemos aprendido. Ordinal numbers. Meses del año, días del año y ordinal numbers. Repasemos ese contenido para que no lo olvidemos. Today is Wednesday. Then we have April 6th. April 6th. That is the date for today. Very good. So I just have six students. Solo hay seis. Esperemos un ratito más a los demás para que no perdamos el contenido. Este día vamos a completar algunas actividades de plataforma también para que vayamos también cerrando esta semana con la sección número tres, sección dos y tres que nos corresponden para esta semana. ¿Ok? Les pregunto, sección número uno, ¿cómo estamos? ¿Cómo va su progreso con la sección número uno? ¿Hemos completado ya todas las actividades de la sección número uno? ¿Sí? ¿No? ¿O hay alguno en específico que nos esté faltando todavía? Quiero escucharlos. ¿Cómo vamos con la sección número uno? Teacher. Dígame. Teacher. Yes. Eh, se, se le oye cortado. Se escucha cortado. Ok, reviso ahorita mi micrófono nuevamente. Ok. Y ahora, ¿cómo me escuchan? ¿Igual? Ya se escucha mejor. Mejor. El mismo sí. problema tuve ayer. No sé qué pasará. Tal vez al conectar y desconectar mi micrófono da interferencia. Pero siempre díganme, ¿ok? Si no, voy a entender que estamos escuchando bien y que todo está bien. No hay problema si ustedes me dicen no se escucha bien o el video no tiene audio o se escucha muy lento. A veces nos puede fallar la tecnología, ¿ok? Y siempre es necesario que todos tengamos... Eh, la misma comunicación. Bien, ya veo a 10 estudiantes. Bien, clase. Les estaba diciendo, what is the date for today? Practiquemos siempre la fecha. Días, meses del año y números ordinales. ¿Qué día estamos ahora? Today is Wednesday. Yes. Yes. Ruth, tell me the date in Lupita. Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. Six, 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 April 2022. Okay. No olvidemos cómo va el orden correcto de la fecha. Primero decimos el día. In this case is Monday, Tuesday, or in this case is Wednesday. Luego le sigue el mes, que sería April. El día, six. 
And then we are going to finish with this one, 2022. Ese es el orden correcto para escribir o decir la fecha. O simplemente podemos decir April 6th. Today is April 6th. Primero van las letras, al final ubicamos los números, ok? Wednesday, entre comas, April 6th, and at the end, 2022, ok? 2022. The end. So that's it. So class, what do we have for today? Look, what class is this one? ¿Qué número de clase vamos ya? Is this class number five, six, seven? Who remembers? ¿Qué clase vamos ya? Sixth. Sixth, are you Maybe sure? Six. Uh -huh. La semana pasada tuvimos tres, el lunes fue la cuarta, martes cinco y ahora la... Six. Hey, there you go, sixth. Very good. So for this one, number six, we are going to have a conversation practice. Vamos a practicar un diálogo ahora. Look at this one. That's okay. Section number two, what's the matter? And the conversation is about uh, recommendations. You can't miss it. Se llama la conversación. Section number three, let's start right now. En esta clase, si tal vez hay mucho trabajo, muchos ejercicios, entonces vamos a dejar para mañana el tongue twister, ¿ok? Tongue twister for tomorrow. So, look, this is the conversation that we are going to have. But I need you to tell me, where are these people? Where are these uh, ladies? ¿En dónde se encuentra? Is this an office? Is this a park and a school? What is the name of this place? ¿Cómo se llama este lugar? Yes. Consultorio. And how do you say that in English? <laughs> yes, who Or knows? In a clinic? Maybe it's a clinic, okay. Maybe it's the hospital. Or look, look, we are going to say doctor's office. Doctor's office. Le llamamos oficinas ahí en el consultorio. The doctor's office. They are at the doctor's office. Maybe this is a clinic or a hospital. And look at the conversation or take a look at these women. Miren la cara de ella. ¿Qué será que le pasa? What's wrong? What's going on? What's the matter? She's exhausted. She is exhausted. <laughs> yes, yeah, she's worried. There you go. So, take a look at the conversation. Veamos rápido la conversación y averigüemos qué le pasa. Alguien dijo ya la respuesta. Exhausted. Busquemos por palabras claves. What's wrong? What's wrong? Por ahí anda la respuesta. I'm I'm exhausted, okay. And the recommendation, what is the doctor recommending? ¿Qué le está recomendando? Busquemos rápido la respuesta. This is a quick reading. What don't is the recommendation? <laughs> oh, wow, imagine, don't drink coffee. Only coffee? Tea or soda. Tea or soda, imagine. And there's another recommendation. Hay una recomendación más. Take one pill every night. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm going to give you some pills. Mm -hmm. y hay una don't work too hard. That's the one that I'm waiting for. And don't work mm. too hard. Don't work too hard. Escuchemos la conversación y veamos si nos dirían lo mismo a nosotros, si nos darían la misma recomendación. Don't work too hard, okay? So, class, let's go to the platform and listen to the conversation, okay? Don't work too hard. No trabajen tan duro. A veces, por más que nos digan, no. It's impossible. 
Look, this is the objective, el objetivo que tenemos para esta clase is this one. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you will also practice a conversation which illustrates, you see, how this topic is used in real life setting. O al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán cómo usar los imperativos, positivos y negativos. Adicionalmente, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo este tema es usado en un escenario de la vida real. Y créanme que sí, esto nos pasa bastante, este tipo de conversación. Tal vez no con un doctor, pero la hacemos bien seguido. Quejarnos por algún dolor y escuchar recomendaciones de alguien, ¿ok? So, let's listen. ¿Cómo se escucha mi audio? ¿Clase mejoró o sigue igual? Tengo esa duda. Good, okay, great. So let's listen. Here we go. Or instructions that you or your dog. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title don't work too hard. Let's listen and practice. Don't work too hard. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. The conversation that we just heard illustrates the conversation between a doctor and a patient. Typically, whenever we are sick, and we go to the doctor, we're going to receive instructions from the doctor so that we can get better. We use imperatives to give instructions. Imperatives. Take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. To form imperatives is very simple. Just add the verb. No subject is necessary. Then a complement. On the left hand side of the chart, we can see positive imperatives. Let's analyze them. Take a pill every four hours. The verb is take. The complement is a pill every four hours. On the right hand side of the chart, you can see negative imperatives. Don't work too hard. In this case, we're going to follow this next formula. Don't plus verb plus complement. Don't work is the verb and the complement too hard. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Think of the advice or instructions that you or your doctor gives whenever you have some kind of illness. For example, if you have a cold, take cough syrup, don't drink cold drinks. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so let me ask you, imperatives. What is an imperative? O para qué nos sirven los imperatives? Can you give me some examples? In this case, we are talking about illnesses, para dar recomendaciones. 
pero podemos tener muchos tipos de imperatives. Positive and negative. ¿Qué son los imperatives? ¿Alguna idea, clase? ¿Qué son los imperatives? ¿Y para qué nos sirven? Just one, solo uno. Ivania, ¿qué se le viene a la mente cuando decimos imperatives? En español, los imperativos. Ok, y entonces, ¿qué son los imperativos? ¿Para qué nos sirven los imperativos? ¿Qué es eso? No para dar instrucciones. Oh, ok, to give instructions, me parece muy bien. Imperatives. ¿Pueden darme ejemplos de imperatives en español? Para comparar si se parecen en inglés. Veamos imperatives in Spanish, que usamos bien frecuente. Usamos mucho, créanme. Gustavo, any idea? Un ejemplo de imperatives en español. Cuando Haz estamos la enfermos. Haz la tarea. Muy bien. Haz la tarea. Yanira, another example in Spanish. Eh, tomarás eh, este medicamento. Ok. Es mm -hmm. como una recomendación también. En este caso, haz la tarea. Siéntate. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más utilizamos? Come tus verduras. Come tus verduras. Ok. Bañate. Bañate, pero eso no es para nosotros, bañate a los niños. So, es un verbo que lleva una intención para que se haga una acción. Entonces, en inglés lo mismo, imperative, son muy usados. En la clase de inglés, repeat, let's repeat. Ok, es un imperative. Let's listen. Es otro imperative. Ok, listen, repeat, write. Son recomendaciones o instrucciones. It's very easy to use imperatives and to form imperatives. We have affirmative or positive imperatives and negatives. In this case, it's to give recommendations. Look, veamos la conversación, identifiquemos los imperatives que tenemos. Dr. Young and Mrs. West, Dr. Young. Veamos los imperatives que estamos utilizando en esta conversación. Can you identify imperatives? Let's read and identify imperatives. Yes, class, I'm listening. Los escucho. Imperatives in this conversation. I'm going to give you some pills. Ah, okay. Is, but is that an imperative? Mm. No, tal vez no. El imperative, si se fijan, okay. es un verbo, inicia con un verbo y un complemento. So, take one pill every night. Take is dinner. the verb y el complemento sería one, one pill, pill every, every night, night after night. dinner. Take, after dinner. take one pill every night after mm -hmm. dinner. Ahí empieza nuestro imperativo. Take. Mm -hmm. Don't work to her. Very good in this case. Don't. It's a negative. Drink coffee, tea, tea or soda. soda. And the last one, the last imperative. Don't work Don't too work. hard. Don't work too hard. Three recommendations that she needs to follow if she wants to feel better, okay? Take one pill every night. Don't drink coffee. Don't work too hard. ¿Qué otra recomendación podríamos agregarle a ella? Miren, se ve bien desanimada. ¿Qué más podríamos agregarle? ¿Qué otra recomendación ustedes le darían? Yes, class. To Miss West. ¿Qué otra recomendación le daríamos a Miss West? Yes. Think about okay. it. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. Okay. Vitamin C. Okay. Good recommendation. Take vitamins, vitaminas, or get some vitamins. Very good. How about exercise? To exercise? Why not? ¿Qué otra recomendación podemos darle? Aparte de take vitamins, exercise, sleep, sleep. Eight hours. Yeah, sleep eight hours. 
That is a song. to music for relax. There you go. Maybe. Listen to music. Empezamos con el verbo en go to vacations. Take some vacations, okay? Take some time for you, for yourself. Tómate un tiempo para ti misma, okay? Recommendations. So, let's practice the conversation and then we are going to work in pairs, okay? Look. Dr. John, Mrs. West, let's listen to the conversation and you're going to imitate, imitate, okay? Imitate the pronunciation, here we go. Okay, listen. Hello, Ms. West, how are you today? Hello, Miss West, how are you today? Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. I'm exhausted. Listen to that one. Exhausted. I'm exhausted. Is she saying I am or I'm? Forma corta. I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Hmm. Why are you so tired? La intonación de pregunta, no lo olvidemos. So, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Oh. Okay, Dr. Young, I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. Questions sin pronunciation. ¿Alguna palabra que les cueste pronunciar? ¿Alguna palabra nueva que veamos? Questions class. Or is this conversation clear? Yes? Exhausted. No? Exhausted. But that is a great pronunciation. So what is the meaning of exhausted? Or a synonym. Cansado. Cansado. Too tired. Demasiado cansado. Exhausted. I cannot continue working. For example, cuando corremos una maratón, corremos varios kilómetros, al final quedamos exhausted. No es cansado, es exhausted. Ya no podemos dar más. Any other? Otra palabra que necesitemos reforzar? Yes? No? Class? No, right? So, let's practice this conversation. If you see, we have the doctor and, in this case, the patient. Let's practice in pairs right now. I'm going to share this post or this picture so you can practice. Yo solo lo voy a escuchar y, si es necesario, corregir alguna palabra en la conversación, okay? So, here we go. You can check what's up right now and let's create the rooms. Here we go. It's working pairs right now. Practice pronunciation. Are we ready to practice? Yes, we are. Here we go, class. Go. It's time to practice this conversation. Ustedes deciden quién es el doctor y quién es Mrs. Mrs. West. Teacher, lo va a enviar al WhatsApp. I did. Ya, ya lo envié, ¿ok? Me dicen si lo recibieron. Ok. Ok, very good. 
I'm just missing Eden Nilsson and Gustavo. Please join. <laughs> okay. Hello, Miss. Gustavo. Okay. Right room. Okay. Doc, Practice. Doc, Dr. June. Hello, Mrs. West. How are you today? Okay. No, no, it's not good. So, what's wrong exactly? Hi, it's tough. Um, um why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep on the night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pills every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or so. Okay. okay yeah, I don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Um, anything else? Anything else? Okay. Pregunta. Okay. Yes. Don't work too hard. I really thank Doctor you. All right. All right. <laughs> Bye. Hoy voy yo. <laughs> Dale, Doctor Jung. Hello, Miss. How are you today? Not so good. So, what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Mm. We, why are you so, so, so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. Um, I'm going to, to give uh, you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And Austin, Ed, Ed. Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thank you, Dr. Jung. Okay. Now, you, Dr. Jung, and me, Mrs. West. Ah, okay. Hello, Mrs. West. How are you? How are you today? Not so good. So, what wrong? It's sexy? It's sexy? I am exhausted. Mm. We, when are you some theater? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. Uh, I am going to give I am going to give you some pill take one pill every night after dinner hello okay and don't drink coffee tea or salt <laughs> Es cierto. Oops. Eh, vaya, ahora al revés. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Not so good. Not so good. So, what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hola. Sí, sí, cancelé el otro Uber. El on pill okay. every no. night after dinner. Okay, and don't, Hello, okay. Mr. How are you today? 
Um, don't drink coffee, tea, or so, soda. What's wrong exactly? Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. Why are you so tired? All right. Thanks, Dr. John. Hey, bye. Oh, so Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Not too good. So, what's wrong exactly? I am exhausted. Hmm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I can't sleep at night. Okay, okay. let's take a look at you. A few. Time to come back. Here we go. I really need to listen to you. Did you have time to practice at least twice? Practicamos por lo menos dos veces o una vez cada una? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes, right? Yes. So, yes, you teacher. know, don't forget that when we are practicing a conversation, you need to feel it. Necesitamos sentir esa conversación como que fuera un escenario real, okay? No Vayamos así como el doctor todo desganado, todo triste. No, no, no. Okay. We are going to feel the conversation. Esa es la idea. Que tratemos de evitar lo más que se pueda a la realidad. Okay. Escuchaba ya unos doctores que yo casi llorar quería. No, class. Feel it. Necesitamos sentir. Okay. Esas recommendations. Okay. Igual el, el paciente el que le está consultando. Okay. Necesitamos también expresar, okay? So let's do it, hagámoslo bien similar. I need volunteers. La primera vez yo voy a ser el doctor and I need a patient. Necesito un paciente ahorita, volunteers right now. Just want, solo uno. Come on class. It's the time to practice. Here we go, thank you. Let's start with Alberto. Alberto, I can see Alberto in the primera pantalla. I'm the doctor, Dr. Jung, and you're going in to have Mrs. West dialogue, okay? Aquí okay. vamos. Digamos Mr. West, porque es Alberto, no Mrs. Señora West, no, Señor West. Hello. Mr. Okay. okay, hello, Mr. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. And if Else? Mm, yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. Chung. Great job. Como lo hizo? Was it a great job? Yes, it was. Alberto, Excellent. ¿quién sigue? An excellent job. ¿Quién sigue? Yo, Go. Yo. Okay, so I have la última vez que le hago yo, Dr. Chung. Ahora cambiamos de rol. Yo voy a ser Mrs. West. Quiero un doctor ahorita. Doctor, right now. Who say me, teacher? Yo, Carlos. Carlos, go. Go, Dr. Young. Here we go. Okay. Are you ready, Miss? I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Hello, Mrs. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Mm, why are you so, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at you. Uh, I'm going to give it you some pills. Take one pill every night after the dinner. Okay. Um, do not drink coffee and tea or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. 
wow, ¿cómo sintieron a este doctor? I was like, yes, ok, ok. Yo no lo voy a hacer. Doctor. Ok, doctor, ok, doctor, lo voy a hacer. Wow, Carlos. Doctor, doctor Chapatín. <ríe> claro, no, what an excellent role. Me encanta, Carlos. Entró en su papel de doctor. Good, Carlos. Good job, an excellent job. Démosles aplausos virtuales. Good job, ok. Like this one. Very good job. I need two volunteers. Ahora veamos quién más. Ivania y Jorge. Ivania, you're going to be Mrs. Young and the doctor Jorge. Here we go, doctor. Ready? Go. Ready. Yes. Hello, Mrs. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? <sighs> I'm exhausted. Mm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's say I looked at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, doctor. Or antes. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, digamos. Wow. ¿Pudieron sentir ese suspiro? Yes, right? She is feeling this conversation. Wow, you are a great job. And Jorge, and Dr. Jorge, okay? Llámenme, doctor, diga Jorge. Dr. Jorge, okay? You did a great job, doctor. Yes, Carlos. I am doctor. Yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> ya saben, cualquier recomendación, doctor Carlos and doctor Jorge. Están en su horario ahorita atendiendo. Bien. Two more volunteers. Todos van a participar. ¿Quién falta? Volunteers. I'm still missing Janira, Ed Nilsson, Lupita, Ruth, Lorena, Samuel, Glenda, Rita, and Josué. Volunteers. David, lo hacemos. Okay, go. Lorena and Gaby. Hola. Hello, hello. Very good. Lo intentamos. Here we go. Uh, Gaby and Lore. So, who is going to be the doctor? ¿Quién quiere ser el doctor? Lore or Gabriela? Uh, que... <laughs> no, que empiece Gaby, por fin. Okay, so Gaby, you're okay. going to be the doctor. And Lorena, the patient. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. Uh, I'm going to give you uh, some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Uh, yes, and don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. John. So she was a very sweet patient. Muy dulce, un paciente genial, ¿verdad? Lore, you did a great job, and doctor, as well, Dr. Gabriela, great job. No corrections in pronunciation. No tengo corrección en pronunciación. Estamos muy bien, class. Two more volunteers. Pueden ser los que trabajaron ya en, en pareja practicando, ¿ok? Rita, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Rita. Se nota cuando sin querer, sin querer toque el micrófono. No, 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 no es sin querer. Rita, she wants to participate. Oops. Oops, Para Rita. que vean que estoy Oops. pendiente. Ay, no. Yes, Rita. Was ¿eh? a mistake. No. De Nilsson. No, I know you can do it. So, who is the doctor? Okay. ¿Es Rita o Eden Nilsson? Eden Nilsson, doctor. Okay, doctor Eden Nilsson. Ready? Three, two, I'm one. I'm doctor. Go. Hello, Mrs. West. How are you today? Not so good. So, what's wrong exactly? I am exhausted. 
um, how are you? Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. A few minutes later, I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. John. Dr. Nielsen. You're welcome. Wow, <laughs> que sexy esa voz. Yes, right? It was impressive. You did an excellent job. You did an excellent job. No corrections in pronunciation. Estamos haciéndolo muy bien. Pronunciando exactamente. Entonación correcta para preguntas, vocabulario. Great job. Who is missing? I'm missing Janira, Lupita, Ruth. And Josué, Hello, thank teacher. you. <laughs> go, Josué. Uh, con Ellen Nilsson. Great job. Here we go. Who is the doctor? Is um, it you, Jose, or... Okay, so three, two, and one, go. Lo vamos a intentar. Hello, Mr. Wetz. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm ex exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay. Let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take oh, one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't worry to hers. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. Dr. Kaspita, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, again, okay. Thank you, Dr. Dr. Mm -hmm. K? Ashford. <laughs> okay. So, yes, recommendation. Very good job. So, you see? This is vocabulary that we can use on a daily basis. You did a great job, guys. And the last participants, I guess. Who is missing? I need a, I need to listen to everybody. Todos van a participar. Lupita. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, ready, Lupita. And who's with you? ¿Quién está con usted? Okay, Glenda. Ah, conmigo está Alberto. Oh, Alberto. So, who is missing? Practiquemos con Glenda, entonces. Okay. Who is the doctor? Glenda or Lupita? Uh, yo. Okay, great. Go. Hello, Mr. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what? Wrong, exactly? I am exhausted. Mm, why are you so, so tired? I don't know. I just came to sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, the word to her. All right, thank you, Dr. Dimas. <laughs> Dr. Dimas, very good. Wow, what a sweet voice. Qué bonita escucha esa voz. Sí. Really sweet, Glenda. And Lupita, great recommendation, Dr. Dimas. Excellent job. So, am I missing anybody? Who's missing? Mm. Yes, Ruth, and? Uh, Janira. And Janira. <laughs> so, who is the doctor? Ro Dr. Miranda or Dr. Mejia? Uh, uh, I, Mejia. Mejia, okay. Mejia. Here we go, doctor. Three, two, and one. Go, girls. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? 
not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I am exactly. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can sleep at night. Okay. Let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pills every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. I think, thank you, Dr. Mejia. <laughs> <laughs> All welcome. right. Thanks, Dr. Mejia. So, what is my conclusion? Ninguno de esos doctores es del seguro social. Okay. That is my conclusion. <laughs> Todos son bien no. nice. No, all right. Private. Private. All right. Private. Que si vamos al doctor en el seguro social, ¿qué creen que nos recomendarían? No, no, no. You better don't Ibuprofeno. Go. Ibuprofeno. <laughs> Ibuprofeno y acetaminofen. Yes, right. So drink acetaminofen and that's it. You will feel better. So recommendations, okay? How do we express? ¿Qué expresiones utilizamos? I don't feel well today. I'm not good today. O lo que practicamos ayer. I have a headache, a stomachache, a backache. Use the vocabulary and then recommendations using imperatives. So if you go to the platform, you are going to find out an exercise in which we are going to use imperative look this is the one is 2.9 so what are we going to do i need you to take a look at this one miren estos imperatives que tenemos look at this picture call stay don't go don't drink, see, take, don't worry, and don't eat. Let's repeat, call, 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 call. Stay. Stay. stay, stay, quédate, don't go, don't go, no vayas, don't drink, don't, don't drink, drink. Huh? no tomes, Ew. Sí. Sí. sí, sí, es como observar o mira, take, take. 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 en este caso es como tomar o no de agarrar sino de tomar drink, ok, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. te preocupes, don't worry, don't Be eat, happy yes, right, don't, don't eat. eat, no don't comas, eat. don't eat, so esto es lo que vamos a ocupar, para completar nuestra actividad. This one. Look. Tenemos un complemento. A dentist. Too much. Number three. Too aspirin. Number four. To school. Number five. In bed. Number six. A doctor. Number seven. Coffee. And number eight, any candy, any candy. So I need you to go work in groups right now. And then we are going to have the correct answers. Uno de ustedes, si es posible, comparte la pantalla con sus compañeros y respondemos a este ejercicio. Luego contestamos entre todos. Let's make the groups right now. Hoy vamos con grupos, no parejas, okay? Groups, groups of... Let me see of four, groups of four. Here we go. Uno comparte la pantalla y todos van dando su opinión. ¿Cuál sería el verbo correcto para completar estas imperative expressions? Here we go. ¿Está clara la indicación? Yes, no. Yes, right? So let's complete. Very good job. Me hice una consulta. Hola. Yes, Ivania, I'm here. 
Pero, y eso tenemos que hacer en la plataforma, porque yes. ya lo habíamos hecho. Platform, solo ya, para ya comparar. Uh -huh. Solo para comparar luego las respuestas. Sí, es Ivania. Uno de ustedes okay. comparte la pantalla y todos opinan para ver si tienen las okay. mismas respuestas. Yes, go. The section, the section two is the section two. Oh, the one that's the section two. Section two. Yo digo, okay, uh, yo creo que esa ya la hice. ¿Cuánto es? Ah, ok. Ya la carga. Ya la tengo aquí, Rita. Ya la tenés, para entonces. Creo que ya la compartió Lupita. Aquí está. Te la comparto aquí. Ok. Ay, a mí, no me carga, a mí no me carga esto todavía. ¿Están viendo? ¿Hello? Sí. Ok. The es first... la 29. Yes. 2-9. 2-9. Espérame, que a mí no me carga. Oh, 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 oh. Correcto. Bueno, mm. ya lo he terminado. Yo claro. la hice, pero no me lo carga todavía. The, the ah, pues, first answer. La primera es core. And the question ah, is a desk. Dentist. Flush. Don't worry, flush. Mm -hmm. Flush. Call. Atentos. Ah, pero Call, stay. Vale, la primera go. dice Headak. Hay Headak. Estar en completo. Sí, yo también ya lo tengo. Pero. Eh, Glenda. Ya lo hice. Mm. Vaya, ¿y cómo nos metemos entonces? ¿La anotamos? ¿Ah? La anotamos. No, no porque por yo eso, le puedo con... compartir, pero como les digo, ya lo tengo completo. Por eso. Sí, yo también ya lo hice, así como eso no lo pidieron la sem... para, la sem... para el 4. Ay, la teacher nos está oyendo. <risa> y entonces. <risa> es que no, no, no podemos ponerlo, ese teacher. Look, yo les Pero, ayudo, don't worry. Va, gracias. Va, ah, ahí, está. Eh, eh, ahí, está, está. ahí está, aquí está. Gracias, teacher. Speaking, go, go, go. Va, entonces, eh, con el primero. Para el primero era call. Ajá. ¿Verdad que sí? Sí. Call. Vaya, call. En el uno. En el dos era... Too much. Stay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry too much. Vaya, dos. La tres era tu aspirin, era. Take. Ay, lo veo. Sí, pero no lo alcanzo a ver. Sí, take. Y que nos está ayudando ahí. <risa> to school. <risa> es que ya no lo veo. Ajá. Ya no lo puedo ver. No me quedaba. Hey, don't Entonces, worry, sí. let's go back. Ya este grupo ya lo hizo, ¿verdad? Me dijeron. Entonces sí. veamos. Sí. Yes, yes. Le quedó igual a los demás. Cinco minutos. Vamos a la sesión principal.
So class. Veo que ya algunos ya tenían completada esta sección, ¿verdad? Section 2.9. Ya la teníamos yes. completa. Solo era de yes. comparar vocabulary. Wow, yeah, you already have it. Yeah. Eso me encanta escucharlo. Sección número 2, entonces ya está completa. Yes. Wow. Because the Monday yes. was the, the last, last day. day. The last for day for section number 2. You know, in this case, um, Como empezamos día miércoles, nuestra meta era de section number one para el viernes. Pero sí, tenemos esta semana todavía hasta el día viernes para tener completa sección tres. Ok, so don't worry. Pero si ya la tenemos completa, that's ok. So imperatives. Look, tenemos varios verbos. Let me see, let me check. Number one, a dentist. A dentist. What is the correct one? Let me see, Ellen Nilsson. Go. Call. Ahí la tengo ya. Call. ¿Es lo mismo que tienen todo? Yes, right? Call a dentist. Yes. Number two. How about number two? Carl, eh, Jorge. Tengo a Jorge acá. Jorge, please. Don't worry too much. Don't, Don't worry. worry. That's okay. Don't worry too much. Ya las tenía ahí. La siguiente. Next one. Let me check. El de Nisma. Take to aspirin. Two. Take two aspirins. Very good. Bien, me faltan las demás. Number four. Number four. Don't go to school. Oh, okay, this is a recommendation. Don't go to school. Or don't go to work. Very good. Number five. Stay, Stay in bed. Stay in bed. You need to rest. Necesitas descansar? Stay in bed. Number six. Ahí está. Number six. Sí. Sí, a doctor. I'm sorry? Sí, a doctor. Oh, sí, a doctor. Sí, a doctor. Go and see a doctor. Ve un doctor. Number seven. Oh, coffee. Se están metiendo con nuestro café. Coffee. Don't drink. don't drink. I guess it's drink coffee. No, don't drink coffee, girl. And number eight, any candy. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice fatal? I'm sorry, how do you say it? Fatal. Fatal, why? <laughs> for the cafe, it's... fatal. For the Nilsson is fatal. <laughs> <laughs> fatality, yes. Don't fatal. drink coffee. Fatality. It, it's the same. Mm -hmm. That's true. Really? That's true. He cannot live without coffee. No puede vivir sin café. Wow. I can live without. You can't coffee. live without coffee. And the last one, any candy. Don't eat. Don't, Don't eat, eat any candy. So let me see. Veamos las respuestas. That's okay. Todas están correctas. So, don't eat any candy and don't drink coffee. That's okay. Todas correctísimas. So, let me ask you, imperatives. ¿Cómo sienten ese tema? Is it difficult to use? Do we need more practice with imperatives or not? How do you feel this topic? ¿Cómo sienten ese tema? It's easy, right? It's quite easy. 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 Very good. It's easy. So the last knowledge checked. Veamos cómo estamos con la sección 2. Entonces, completamos ya el siguiente ejercicio. Necesitamos ayuda para completarlo. Es este. Miren, les muestro en un minuto. This, tell me. Tiene problemas otra vez con el. Oh, el no. Otra vez. Saben que no, ya no sé si es mi audio, mi internet, lo que será, pero prometo estar lista para mañana con mejor audio. Vamos a ver, tal vez es mi micrófono. ¿Ahora sí me escuchan bien? Yes. Ok, so yes. this is the last one. The last exercise from section number two. It's a short reading. Es una pequeña lectura. Y tenemos tres, no, four options. Cuatro recomendaciones que se van a sacar de la lectura. Okay? To get exercise. Y aquí estamos. 
¿Cómo estamos con este ejercicio? ¿Ya la completaron? ¿Necesitan ayuda con la sección? Si es así, lo dejamos para el día de mañana. Quiero escucharlos. Sección número 2. Para finalizar sección 2, ¿cómo estamos? Yes, terminamos ya sección número 2. Yes, bien. Yes, right? Ya la terminamos. Very good job. So, get ready with section number 3 tomorrow. Mañana tenemos igual sección número 3, ¿ok? So, clase. Dudas, comentarios con este tema. No? If not, we are going to stop the class oh, here. And we are going to meet tomorrow. Si no hay preguntas, comentarios, yes. nos vemos cuando? Tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow. have a great afternoon bye. class. Bye bye. It was a pleasure. Great class. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Take care.